I did this assignment for two hours, but uh, it all disappeared. So no, I don't give a F and I'm gonna just uh, read straight from the script. Uh, how about the Brexit? No one's ever seen that many Brits pulled out since Madonna was dating. But when Theresa May was writing about Article 50, it's quite hard to understand what the fuck she's on about. So you're, if you're as me and understand fuck all about Brexit, we can try to break it down together. Brexit is the term which is used to refer to the UK leaving the European Union. It's a short version of British exit. The decision to sever ties with the EU came down as a result of a referendum in which more than 30 million people of voting age participated. Let me tell you, it wasn't... It was a close vote. The BBC reported that the final vote resulted in 52 for Brexit to 48 against. This tells us that teeth are not the only thing wrong about British people. The EU can be described as a safe zone, where 28 countries are tied by both economic and political alliance. It allows citizens to move across the borders within the EU without having a passport and countries to trade with few restrictions. So why are 52% of the UK positive towards Brexit? Well. The motion to leave the EU was mostly advocated by the UK Independence Party, also known as UKIP. UKIP is a British right-wing political party, um, which uh, have some of the finest uh, members, such as Carl B. and I mean, who said that the age of consent depends on the child because some kids mature faster than others. Mm. But the idea to leave the EU was not supported by former Prime Minister James Cameron. The UKIP argued that the UK's participation in the EU is restricting the UK's trading possibilities. Other arguments made by UKIP is centered around the border control and business rights. In addition, supporters of the Brexit movement are complaining about the high membership fee which they argue could be used to benefit the UK instead. This was also the slogan on the big red bus that the new Prime Minister Boris Johnson rode around in. £350 million pounds are sent to the EU every week, it said. This, along with several other statements from Boris Johnson, have been completely destroyed. I don't know about you, but for me, this sets off an alarm clock. Boris has <coughs> even gone to the lengths of comparing himself to the Incredible Hulk. If you still don't know who Boris is, he's the one acting like the groom in a reality TV sh episode of Don't Tell the Bride. Some complete fucking ball and running around seven days before the big day, pissing himself, not having, a, not having a clue what he's doing, hasn't organized the cart, the catering, the flowers, and asking if he can come in on a jet ski. <laughs> Boris is right about one thing though. The UK has slid in a, into a crisis over 10 painful years. This is one of the many problems that Brexit is supposed to resolve. But as you might understand now, Boris the incredible wimp and the rest of the arrogant, stubborn, heartless bunch of assholes that sits in parliament will never be able to fix on their own. Especially not by creating new problems. Uh, Brex Fuck off. Uh, Brexiters argue that they want to close the borders, but in reality closing the borders wouldn't really be affected by Brexit anyway, since half of the immigration in the UK comes from outside of the EU, and the UK might actually need these people to take care of elders and do other vital jobs while being staffed at the NHS. This is exactly what David Davids uh, acknowledged on the BBC's Question Time TV show. The Lee Brigade also seems to forget how the EU free movement is a win-win situation. Citizens of the UK have the right to, li right to live, work and retire in 27 of the most civilized and prosperous countries in the world. <coughs> to see this in perspective, let's set an example. Think of a 20 year old today. That 20 year old will go on to have a 50, maybe 60 year long career in whatever line of work they see fit for themselves. They have the freedom to roam around all of Europe, which makes them extremely attractive on the job market, which creates cr um, countless of opportunities. With a Brexit no deal, all of these possibilities will go down the drain. And it seems like they're fucking everybody in the younger generations in the UK. Although this might be called BNM stream, it's not the biggest problem with a Brexit deal. Importing goods from the EU will get more expensive when the uh, free movement of goods ends with Britain's departure. Uh, example to this is th that, according to the BBC, 30% of the food consumed by the UK in 2018 came from the EU. This along with several other problems such as electricity and gas prices may go up and the medication that you need might not be uh, available and if it is, it's probably more expensive. It just baffles me. Uh, in conclusion, 
I'm not saying there wasn't a democratic mandate for Brexit at the time. I'm just saying if I narrowly decided to order fish at a restaurant that was known for its chicken but said it was happy to offer fish and two chefs who promised to order the fish had quit and the third one is promising to li deliver the fish within the next five minutes whether it's cooked or not or indeed still alive whilst all the other staff spent the last few hours um, arguing amongst themselves whether I wanted battered cod, grilled salmon, or even dolphin kebabs, at the same time that large parts of the restaurant appeared to be on fire and no one was paying attention to it due to the fact that they are arguing about fish, I would quite like, just for once, to be asked if I definitely still wanted the fish. Thank you.